I'm Belinda Fremo, President of Passionate Project Management, where we're passionate about your success. Today's topic is analogous estimating versus parametric estimating. Uh, both very common come up on the exam, so you want to make sure you have a strong understanding of the different estimating techniques. Now, both analogous and parametric estimating can be used for duration or they can be used for cost. So I'll refer to both as we go through this section. Right? First, we'll start with analogous estimating. Analogous, think of analogy, right? In an analogy, what are we doing? We're comparing two similar items, and that's exactly what we do in an analogous estimate. We're going to compare our project to a previous similar project. Okay, so it's going to be a combination of historical information, meaning that past project, and expert judgment, meaning our judgment, the team's judgment, on just how similar the two projects are. We use analogous estimating when we don't have a lot of detailed information about our current project. We don't have you know, intricate sizings and estimates from each of the components, so we're just going to look top down. Now that's an important phrase to make sure you associate with analogous estimating, top down. Okay. Top down, it's going to be quick and easy to do, but it's not going to be as accurate as some of the other estimating techniques that we'll talk about. Quick and easy to do, not as accurate, top down. We want to make sure the two projects are as similar as possible, right? If I'm building a canoe this week, and last week I built a website, probably not going to work too well for an analogous estimates. We want them to be as similar as we can and factor in those similarities. Right? So again, analogous estimating, using a past similar project used when we don't have a lot of detailed information about our current project. Now let's compare that to parametric estimating. In parametric estimating, think math. Metric, think math. We're going to use a statistical relationship between variables to calculate a duration or to calculate a cost. We're going to come up with a productivity rate for duration or a unit cost for cost. So we take that, again, based on historical information, factor that by however units, how many units we have to come up with our estimate. So for example, let's say that it takes me one hour to review 10 pages of material. Well, if I have 100 pages of material, it's going to be 10 hours to review it. Okay, so again, based on past experience again, so both of those te estimating techniques leverage historical information, but of the two, parametric is going to be more accurate. We just want to make sure that underlying data is scalable. Make sure that it can be scaled up or scaled down appropriately. I hope you found this topic valuable and you learned something about analogous estimating versus parametric estimating. I love to hear your comments, so please leave a note, leave a comment on our blog or on this video. Be sure to check out our site as well, www.passionatepm.com, for a lot of other free resources. Again, my name is Belinda Fremo. Have a great day.